making uh, a little bit more tighter things tightening up for you? Or? Yeah, yeah, we came out today. It was nice, you know. Like, uh, I really like the opening drive we had. I don't know if you were here then. But it was just really, uh, really, really uh, explosive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you got the word. <laughs> but it's um, there's some nice things out there today. You know, I like the fact that on defense or safeties are we're just really running to the football. We're a little banged up right now, you know. But but uh, I really like the way they're playing. I like our offense. We're starting to make some plays now and uh, starting to get a handle, a little understanding of what we're trying to get done. So that's been exciting. So there's some real positive things that came out of the day. I thought there was a lot of energy. I thought there was a lot of competitiveness out there, a little energy juice. Those are all the things that uh, you know, we want to get accomplished. So it was an encouraging day. What's this? A lot of situational things that oh, you yeah. do with these guys. Yeah. It was interesting to see how they responded red zone. Yeah. I mean, we put them in, you know, coming out. We, and then we wanted to play the coming out so that if they they would feel the wrath of not, not being able to, you know, convert coming out. And what that does to our defense if you put the opposing offense on the short field. Mm -hmm. You know, we had that kind of situation. So we put them in coming out. We put them in short yards. We put them in goal line. We put them in low red zone, you know. We put them in first and second down. We put them in a third down situation. You know, we had a competitive seven on. So we just kind of mixed and matched it throughout the day. We put our punt in there. We put our kickoff return in there. So we did some things which were good, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what stood out to you then uh, coming out of the – out of the day? Out of, out of the situations. I mean, some of the performances that you may have seen out here. Some good, you know, I mean, some big plays came out of those situational deals. And I think there was some, you know, we also had a high hit that would have resulted in the new rules on an ejection. So that came about, you know, it was a 15-yard penalty and would have been an ejection in this year's, in this year's rule change. Is that the one on Coleman that caused his helmet to come off? Yeah, okay. and, and, and I think that's a that, that, that's a learning experience right there. You know, that's a tough rule on the defense now. I mean, obviously we're trying to take care of players and that's the most important thing. But it's, you know, you gotta, you really, you're really you're on defense now. You gotta really focus on where that's, you know, where you're striking, how you're striking because the, the outcome of that is, you think about it, it's unbelievable. It can change the whole course of the game. Sure. You know, so, but that came up today, which was good for the team to see how, how you know, how pivotal that can be. And we put a scoring system today the whole day long. Everything was scored. Yeah. So, you know, that's that, that, that that's a five-point swing against you in our scoring system. So we're trying to give them the, the, the real feel of winning and losing. You know, the way we created it. First down's worth a point. Touchdown's worth five. Interception's five. You know, minus one yard on offense is plus one for the defense. So it's just the system we put together to keep the day competitive. Yeah. Coming out of the spring, what's, what thing you most? What's going to most of this thing coming out of the spring? Well, I mean, I think what we're what what we're learning right now, which is what what are the best things that we can do? Like, you know, we don't want to be a round peg in a square hole here now. You know, you hear people say, "Well, are they going to throw it? Are they going to run it? Well, are they going to run it? Do they have enough depth at this?" And if they're going to, you know, right now, what you're realizing is we've got to be balanced. We've got to be balanced, and. You know, that's what you're realizing. We're going to do what we do best and put our best players in the best positions to be able to get that done. And so right now, honestly, it looks like, you know, we're going to have to have some balance here. You know, we're just going to, you know, like, people say, oh, we're going to be three yards in the club. No, that's not what you saw out here today. I mean, you know, uh, no. Um, nor are we going to throw it 47 times in a game. No, unless something changes and one of those two things had to happen because of more personnel issues, right? Right, right now, I'm, I'm convinced we need to be balanced, um, and we are. So what am I taking out of this right now that we, we kind of can be? Right now, today. Now, we have some depth issues now. I mean, there, we got some frightening depth issues. But if we can stay healthy right now, we can maintain balance uh, on offense. And on defense, I think, you know, we're really starting to realize and understand the blitz patterns and packages, and, 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 and that's a good thing. Are those scary depth issues along the defensive front right now, or the front seven? Your biggest scary depth issues are running back. Okay. You know, is, 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 is an issue, and, and we got to come up with a couple more guys that have got to emerge as playmakers at the wide receiver position. And then, uh, you know, we're a little thin in the secondary right now, but I'll, but I mean, you know, I like where we are. I think the D line is a little thin because of some minor injuries we have right now, but those aren't major. They'll be back. I, I like the pro progress of the D line right now a lot and linebacker. Yeah. You had one running back decide to leave Finch. Yeah. What did that do, you know, to, to the mix there? And who who maybe gets an opportunity now? Well, I mean, you know, obviously we weren't real deep to begin with. Yeah. But, uh, you know, hey, we roll with the guys that want to be a part of something great. This is going to be a, this is going to be something special. And the guys that want to be here and be a part of that, that that's what I'm concerned. I don't concern myself with, with anybody else. So, I mean, Andre Williams has had a, a spring. I, I feel confident I know a little something about the run game. And, and that guy right there? 
that guy's going to have a heck of a year. We got to keep him healthy. Now. Uh, you know, Dave, Dave, David Dudek has got a lot of opportunities to come out of there, and so we're operating with three guys right now. That's all we're operating with because Taj is still banged up, not playing, and then we've got two freshmen coming in. So you know. Hopefully, maybe there'll be some other opportunities along the way. <laughs> maybe there'll be some other pickups. But uh, has anything surprised you, or what's hard the most you know, from what you saw? I mean, what you see now? I think this team has got a great resolve. I think this team wants to be tough. I think they want to compete. I think they want to work hard. They're taking hard coaching and, and, and really enjoying it. I think the, the the goal is that we're going to become a team, a team team, because a team is really important. There's a lot of great football players, talented players in the country, but we want to be a great football team. Yeah. And, 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 and and these kids these kids are great with that. They they they, they, they enjoy that. So I love their competitiveness. I love I love their I love their loyalty. I this is some great some great great foundation characteristics here that I really think are most important, you know? What have the uh, rising seniors, uh, in particular guys like you know, Chase and Andre, have, what have they shown you in terms of leadership early on? I'm really team? impressed with Chase right now. I think Chase has had a great spring. I like his, I like his demeanor. I like the way he's going about things. The kid gets the ball out really quick, and he, I mean, he's 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 becoming a complete player. And I just like, I, I like his whole deal right now. His demeanor, his leadership, and his play on the field. To be honest with you, it's pretty accurate now. You know, it really is. Pretty accurate throw. We got to get more targets for him to throw the ball to, catch it, and make plays. Has Crimmins emerged as a possible target? You know, he, he today he made a few plays today. He's a young guy, and, and and he loves football. And you know, we're really you know the the environment, the, uh, the pace of it all, and the intensity of it all. He's he's really grown accustomed to. And he made a few plays today. And he's a big-bodied receiver. That's good. We've got to, you know. In order for us to have balance and throw the ball, we have guys that are going to go catch the ball and make a play. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and, and, and so that has to emerge. That back will make plays. Andre's going to make plays. And that offensive line is developing pretty well right now. So that, that'll come together. His size presents some tantalizing you know, potential there. Oh, yeah. He's, that's hard to take him down. Now. Yeah. Yeah. And he's got speed. That's the amazing thing. He actually has got real speed. Yeah. And he's big and strong. He's developing into a you know, rounded out back right now. Yeah. That's exciting. Um, I, I like him. Have there been any players that didn't play prominent roles last year that have caught your eye in the spring that you think might, might really be able to You know what? Yeah, it's hard for me to answer that because I purposely didn't want to watch a lot of tape yeah. from before. So I kind of wanted to just judge it as I saw it. You know what I mean? So I can't really say, you know, I mean, I'm just seeing a bunch of guys seem to be emerging a little bit right now, you know? And so, like, you know, and I don't want to f seem foolish and call a name, you're like, well, Coach, yeah, he played a bunch last year, you know? But, I mean, a bunch of guys, like uh, Stephen Daniels is starting to make some plays on that field, you know? And, and I, I, I like where he's headed, you know? I like those that those group of linebackers, you know, KPL and, and Steele and, uh, and just and, and, and Josh. Kai's and these guys are, are playing. I like the kid Medi. You know, I just I think he's going to be a big time defensive tackle. I'm impressed with him. He probably I don't know did he play a lot last year? I don't know. But I'll tell you what, I think he's going to be a hell of a football player. I really do. You know, Caleb Ramsey has 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 has, has been injured a little bit, but he has had a great spring to this point. He's a little dinged right now. It's nothing serious, but he's had a great spring. I mean, he's 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 a guy that similar to the guys I saw when I was in the SEC. And uh, so I like, uh, you know, we've got some guys. Is he uh, likely to be available playing the spring game? or? I don't know. I might, you know. Yeah. I, you know, quite truthfully, I'm not sure how many guys, you know, some guys may not play much in that spring game. You know, I'd like to see some other guys that we're still trying to get more information on. You know, these today's a big day for us. Uh, Tuesday is a big day for us. Thursday a little bit. And then Saturday have a little bit of fun. And i got to see where we're at come Saturday, you know, if we lose a few more guys, then we'll be, uh, you know, we won't be able to split the team in half. I'd like to split them if we could, you know, be more fun and, you know, have a winner loser, have a victory meal and a loser meal, you know, prime rib filet and the losers eating hot dogs and beans, you know, I'd like to do all that if we can, if we can split it, have a little fun. At the uh, end there, when you were talking, I didn't hear the whole conversation, but you were talking about attitude. What, what is it that you're trying to pass along to these guys this spring? Just that, I mean, you know, the ability to count on each other, the guy, the, to, to, to count on the guy on your right to take care of each other, to count on that they'll do their job, to be a team, the building of a team. And, and, and when we pull, as we pull this team together, it's, it's, we're going to have a, we're 
Georgia. It's going to be a great team. And it's going to be something you want to be a part of. It's going to be special, you know, and there's nothing better than a feeling in the locker room when you sing the fight song and you, everyone counts on each other and you win as a team and you go and you celebrate in that locker room. It's a great feeling. And they're, and they're going to feel that feeling. Just, you know, just building that right now.